What's up guys, it's Kelly and today I've got a nail art tutorial for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any videos and let's get started. So today I am sharing with you guys a galaxy nail art compilation. I'm showing you six different galaxy inspired nail art looks and I thought I would do an intro because today is actually my birthday. <laughs> so yeah, we may as well just jump right into it. All of the designs are super simple. We're doing different types of looks. So we're going from the more subtle looks into the more loud, crazy stuff. I have some that are just simple. And I also have a couple that involve some stamping nail art, which is another way that I like to enhance my galaxy designs. There is one common item that you do need for all of your galaxy nail art looks, and that is a cosmetic sponge. I just buy a big pack of them. They're literally just these little face sponges. I just rip them up and then I use them to create my galaxy nail art. So as long as you have this tool, you are going to do a really great galaxy manicure. So let's just go ahead and get started and and roll the galaxy footage. So we'll start off with the classic galaxy look and you'll see throughout these six designs, I'm kind of building on the same fundamental techniques here, but I figured it would be best to just start off with the way that I almost always do my galaxy manicures. Of course, starting off with my base coat. And then one thing I like to do for the classic galaxy manicure is use a pure black cream as my background. And that kind of helps me build and control where the little stars and sparkles are going to be. So I'm using OPI Black Onyx for this. Of course, for all of my looks, I am using the Orly Bonder base coat. And then I'm going to take OPI Alpine Snow and I'm going to take a little jagged edge of my sponge and I'm going to start to sponge on just basically a diagonal line. And that is going to be where the main star cluster is. And I usually just do a diagonal line. That's kind of like my standard for doing it. But depending on how long your nails are, you can really do any sort of pattern or design for how you want the stars to look. The this is just kind of my go-to, so you'll see it a lot in this video. Then I'm going to take Orly Kelly's Solar Flare, and what I'm going to do is I'm kind of going to pat that onto the outer edges of the white sponge on area, again, with kind of a jagged piece of sponge. And the cool thing about this polish is it actually has this really intense blue shimmer in it. So the parts that hit the white are going to look purple, and then the parts that hit the black are actually going to look like a turquoisey blue color, which is kind of adding to like that starry effect. So I'm going to do that on both the top and the bottom. And we're just kind of creating some more dimension for where that like nebulous, spacey cluster of stars is going to be. And there's really no wrong or right way to do this. This is just kind of, like I said, my classic way of doing a galaxy look. And in some parts, I'm gonna just sponge on a little bit more of that purple into the background so that we get more of those nice little blue stars. And then I'm gonna take Starly Intergalactic and I'm going to paint this on focusing just on on the white part and getting a little bit on those outer edges. And this is kind of just going to create the dimension of looking like there's like a bunch of sparkly stars in that little nebula. Then I'm going to take a small nail art brush. You can also use a dotting tool or a toothpick for this. And I'm going to use Alpine Snow again. And I am just dotting on some stars, really focusing on the white area and a little bit into the purple so that it looks like the majority of the stars are there. And of course, I decided I didn't have enough hollow sparkles, so I added a little bit more around around the edges just to kind of complete the look. So since I am done with my little galaxy manicure, I'm just going to apply my top coat. One thing I always love to tell you guys is don't discount your galaxy nails until you put the top coat on because sometimes it really looks crazy until it's all smoothed out onto one layer. But yeah, here is that design. Like I said, my kind of classic go-to galaxy look, the easiest way of doing it. And you can kind of interchange the colors that you sponge on around the outside as long as you kind of have that main white portion of the star and then it kind of fades out into a deeper color and looks like more random stars are kind of dotting that deep spacey universe. So yeah, now that we've got the fundamentals down, let's move on to another look. So we're going to move on to a very similar design. And again, I'm just using the sort of same concepts here, but I'm doing two things differently. One, I am creating a more intense background. So I'm using Kelly's antimatter instead of a pure black, because in this case, I kind of want it to look like there are scatters of stars everywhere. And then two, I'm going to make the actual star clusters a little bit more muted and a little bit more subtle on the nails. And this is something that I like to do because I don't know if you guys have ever experienced it. I'm sure you have. But if you ever find yourself with a white nail polish that is just not that opaque, like super
super milky, this is a really great way to use that up. But before I do that, I'm just gonna sponge on a little bit of Kelly's Galaxy on the background here. And I'm just kind of laying down the place where I am going to have my star cluster. Again, just because of personal preference, I'm doing it in that diagonal line. I'm adding a little bit of solar flare as well. And like I said, because I'm using a sort of really milky white color, I don't wanna put it over that because it's gonna eclipse it totally. So I'm just putting that in the background. So now I'm going to take Salon Perfect Pillow Talk and this is a super sheer white. I think it actually has a lot of really great uses for nailer and this is one of them. So again, I'm just kind of taking a jagged piece of sponge and I'm gonna draw on with that sponge a light little cluster and you can see as I layer it up I can make it a little bit more intense a little bit more subtle because the color is so milky and sheer it kind of almost creates this natural depth to that star cluster where you can see more areas seem to be more populated with stars than others. And then I'm just gonna highlight that by again, taking that OPI Alpine Snow and I am just adding more dots into the center to look like individual stars kind of poking out and being larger and more vibrant within there. So you can see it's a simpler technique for doing it and it overall makes the design a little bit more subtle. I think this is a really great way to, like I said, use up those more sheer polishes, but it's also a nice softer galaxy look. It's not as intense and white and bright as it is with a more opaque color like Alpine Snow. So yeah, once again, I am just going to put on my top coat. I'm using the Cuccio high gloss top coat here for all of the designs. And you will see a recurring theme in this video is that I like to smudge my stars because I was getting really impatient with these galaxies. I don't recommend smudging your stars. If you do it though, you can just pretend they're shooting stars and they're like, I don't know, moving across space. So we'll just go with that for now. But yeah, definitely wait until your polish is dry before you go in with the top coat. So this is the last of the more classic techniques. And then I'm going to show you guys a little bit more of a funky design. But one thing that I used to find really daunting is the pastel galaxy. And that is something that is actually really easy to do. And you can kind of just employ the same technique in order to create that design, but you're using it with a lighter color palette. So I'm just going to start off with Picture Polish Bluebird here. I'm going to take OPI Alpine Snow and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just sponging on my diagonal line. Again, if you have long nails, you can do kind of like a spiral or you can just do clusters in certain areas. And then I'm going to take Orly Kaleidoscope Eyes. And I thought this was just a really nice, soft, orchid color that would go really well with the rest of this manicure. Again, you can just pick a few colors, anything that's kind of in the blue, purple, pink realm, especially these softer colors will work really well for a pastel galaxy. But again, it's really, it's your world. So you can do whatever you want with it. And I am just going to kind of overlap that on the top half of my white star cluster. And I'm gonna let that sort of fade into my blue background. Now, this is a somewhat optional step, but I'm gonna take a slightly darker blue this time it's Kelly's Galaxy, and I'm just gonna sponge on a little bit on the bottom to add some more dimension to make it look like there are some parts of this pastel galaxy that are a little bit deeper and darker than the rest of the design. I just think that adds a little bit more dimension, makes it look more like some areas are popping out and some are receding into the background. Once again, I'm just gonna use Intergalactic across that area that I sponged on to make it look like there are more stars there. And of course, I'm going in to add more stars because you can never have have enough stars and the simplest way to do it is to just do little dots you can draw in stars if you want or you can stamp them in we'll look at a little bit more of options for that later but yeah once this design is done I'm just gonna go in once again with my high gloss top coat and I am just going to apply that and I absolutely love the way that this one looks I really want to experiment doing different types of galaxies with different color schemes it's really cool because on the one nail it always looks like it's just a random mattering of colors but then once you see the whole design it really gives that galaxy look and that's one thing I love about galaxy manicures they're very beginner friendly you don't have to be an expert you're kind of just sponging on randomly and it really works and one thing about pastel galaxy specifically is I always think they look amazing matte so I did add matte top coat in this version you can see it kind of just adds a little bit of like a softness to it which I love okay so moving on to the more funky techniques I really wanted to try to do some different 
types of galaxies where the galaxy theme would still tie in but it wasn't necessarily just that like diagonal line of stars across my nail so I'm gonna do a negative space galaxy and I did decide to use a base for this I'm using OPI be there in a Prosecco because I thought it would just be a nice nude background but you can do this also with your bare nails you would just have to do more sponging on to make sure that the colors are opaque so I'm gonna start with the light blue in this case I'm using picture polish bluebird and I'm just gonna start sponging on random areas until I have a little bit of opacity there so I'm actually in this nail kind of doing the opposite of that diagonal line where I'm filling in the areas that aren't the diagonal line and that's where my little clusters of galaxies are gonna be so then I'm gonna take a slightly darker blue this one's Kelly's galaxy and I am just going to sponge that one on and kind of go a little bit further back than I did with the lighter blue so that it seems like it's gradually fading into that negative space if that makes sense so kind of just adding more depth into the corner of the nail while keeping some of that soft blue on the outside to make it look like the stars are gradually fading into nothingness my last step for this is to add a little bit of a multi-chrome flaky this is starly deimos and I thought it would just kind of add a little bit more dimension there and almost like the opposite of stars so instead of having like super bright light colors in there like a hollow sparkle I'm doing this multi-chromatic sparkle so it looks like really negative space so I'm just again adding that on the outer corners there and really focusing it in the deeper areas and just having a tiny bit overlap into the lighter areas so I'm just going to enhance this by taking my stamping plate and I'm just going to add a little constellation there now I thought originally that it would make the most sense to do this with black but after I stamped this on I actually wasn't a huge fan I felt like it kind of got lost within that multi-chrome so what I ended up doing was just re-stamping it over again with white and if you want you can redo the manicure but I am a lazy person so I just tried to stamp it over so it kind of looks like we have a little three-dimensional star there and you don't have to do stamping you can just draw this in if you're feeling confident with your freehand but I thought it would just be cute to have little constellations in those areas so that it looks like those stars are kind of building up in those negative space areas and one one really cool trick if you guys didn't know you can use tape to lift up stamping bits that you have left on your skin it's just a really easy way to do cleanup although for me I always have to go in with a little bit of acetone and a cleanup brush anyway just to clear out any excess and then that is this design so I ended up adding my top coat and this is another one that could really be cool if you're doing it with a matte top coat but since I had those multi-chrome sparkles in there I wanted to leave it sparkly you can see on the other nails it definitely looks better better when it's fully white instead of that kind of shadowy area I wasn't a huge fan of what it looked like with the black constellations I definitely preferred it with the white so that's what I would recommend if you decide to recreate this manicure but you know I just wanted to show you guys because sometimes it requires a little bit of experimenting and not every manicure is going to turn out absolutely perfect but that's totally okay so if you've been watching my channel for a while and you've seen some of my nail art tutorials you may notice that I am actually a huge fan of drippy manicures I have done so many very variations of the drippy manicure. I have done dripping ice cream, I have done slime, I have done blood for Halloween, and I have also done little spacey dripping. So I really wanted to show you guys an option for that. So I used Stargazer from Starly as my base color, and then I went in with a small nail art brush and OPI Black Onyx, and I am just drawing a bunch of wiggly lines here I'm kind of dividing the nail in half and I always like for my drips to come from the cuticle because I feel like that just makes sense the way that I look at my nails but if you want you can have it dripping from the edges basically we're just going to create this area that looks like there's spacey globby sliminess I don't know <laughs> but it's taking over that beautiful purple nail polish so I'm just filling that in I didn't want to pull out another nail art brush but if you want to not take a million years to do it you can just use a regular size brush to fill in that area but then I'm going to take OPI Alpine Snow again and I'm just going to start to draw little X's in that area and those are going to be my stars they don't have to be perfect we're going to supplement them with little dots as well but this is just a cool way to make some stars look like they are closer and bigger so it's something that I like to do and it's relatively easy to do just a little X a little plus sign whatever works for you and just create that kind of star vibe so once I've got those I am also 
also going to go in with the same brush and I'm just going to create little dots. Sometimes I find that I get really nice tiny dots using a nail art brush over using a dotting tool, but you can just use whatever you are comfortable with. In this case, I really didn't want the stuff to smudge, so I used some Zoya Quick Dry Drops before I went in with my top coat, and thankfully I did not smudge all of my nice little stars there. You can see there was actually one star that I kind of filled in and made more of like a diamond shape, and I ended up doing a little bit of that on each nail just to make it look like it was more, I don't know, intense, I guess. Like some of the stars were closer than others. So this was a really fun one to do. I did end up mattifying it, but looking at it now, I wish I had left one part matte and one part shiny. Like if I had the stars be matte, but the color of the base be shiny or vice versa, I think that would be a really cool design as well. So moving on to the final design, this is actually the manicure that I ended up wearing on my birthday, which like I said, was actually July 2nd. I'm posting this late because I was too lazy to edit this on my actual birthday, but I'm just going to start off with a base of alternate universe. It always looks a little bit more blue on camera than it is in real life, but I really wanted this to be very strong purple galaxy vibes. So what I ended up doing was taking that sheer Salon Perfect again, and I'm just creating a little kind of background cluster of stars. This is not going to be the focus of the manicure. This is kind of just adding a little bit of dimension in the background. So I'm creating that. I'm keeping it super subtle and soft. It doesn't have to be perfect at all. I kind of just have that running throughout the background of all of my designs. And then just to add a tiny bit more of a purpliness to it, I'm going to take that Orly Kaleidoscope Eyes again, and I'm just going to add that to the top just to make it look a little bit more dimensional, a little bit more purple, kind of tie the design in together. And once again, I am using my Moyu London collaboration stamping plate, and I'm going to just put some planets on there. So if you guys don't know about this plate, it does have layered stamping options on it. So I have a bunch of different circles, and then I have like swirly planet designs. And what I like to do is layer the design. So I started off with the silver, I popped that on, and then I went in with the swirly design using a black stamping polish. So that's kind of how I create my little planets. I wanted to do a mini purple planet as well. So each nail has a couple of different planets, the closer one being silver and the further one being purple. I don't know, it just made sense in my brain. <laughs> and then I'm just going to layer that again with the black to kind of create some dimensionality there. So in this case, we're kind of focusing more on all of these distant planets. And then there's like some star clusters in the background. That was kind of my thought process here. I think this design could have also benefited from having little specks, like starry dots in the background too, just to kind of add a little bit more instead of making it look like there are strange purple clouds in the background. I'm not sure how I feel about this one actually, but I do think that it made a cute birthday manicure. I did end up mattifying it for my birthday as well, because you guys know I can't resist mad top coat. So here it is, the final birthday design. So yeah, that is it for this Galaxy nail art compilation. I want to hear from you guys which of the six looks is your favorite. Let me know in the comments. If you enjoy my content, I would really appreciate it if you could give this one a thumbs up. It lets me know I'm doing a good job. If there's any other types of nail art compilations that you want to see, leave them in the comments. We can chat about it. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I put out new videos every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. Huge shout out to my Cosmic Admirals on Patreon, Amanda M, Braxton Scott, Rainbow J, Chris Kristen and Jessica Taylor. I really appreciate your support and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Today's fun fact is not going to be a Patreon question as it usually is, but today's fun fact is that today is my birthday. As of this morning, I am officially 30 years old, which is kind of crazy because I don't feel like I'm 30, but then again, I kind of never feel my age. But yeah, I just wanted to take this moment to thank you guys so much for your support on my channel, for watching my videos, whether you're just like a casual viewer who stops by every once in a while, or maybe just for this video, or if you are somebody who watches all of my content, whichever way you enjoy enjoy my content. I am so appreciative of you. I love you guys so much. And honestly, I just feel very special that I get to celebrate my birthday with people all over the world. So thank you guys. And I love you. And I'll see you guys later.